What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the new iPhone SE 2. So back in March of 2016, around the time the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus were taking consumers by storm, Apple oddly introduced this guy, the original iPhone SE. It was basically an iPhone 6 crammed into an iPhone 5 body, and it was significantly cheaper than its flagship counterparts despite having similar specs. And honestly, I thought the phone was going to be a complete bust. When every other phone manufacturer was focusing on making the phones bigger, prioritizing screen size, the iPhone SE seemed almost like a novelty device that I thought people would not even give a second thought to. But man, I was wrong. The iPhone SE was rightfully received as the powerhouse compact phone that it was, and it was way more accessible given its lower price tag, and it almost immediately gained a cult following. So it's not surprising that four years later, even in the midst of a global pandemic, when Apple officially announced the new iPhone SE 2, the entire tech community was like, oh sh**. And for good reason, because even though this phone isn't even officially out yet, I really feel as though it's going to go down as one of the most important iPhones ever made, and it has potential to really disrupt a large segment of the smartphone industry. Now, before we get into why the SE2 is such a game changer, if you guys are into checking out the latest consumer tech products before you buy them, or if you just tech it like me and make a video like this every single week, so make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you can be the first to know when a new JSR review is out and you don't miss anything. Oh, and quick question for you guys. Out of the three colors that are available on the new iPhone SE, which one do you think is best? The product red, the black, or the new Stormtrooper white? Curious to get your thoughts, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. So the first reason why the new iPhone SE 2 is the most important iPhone of 2020 is the price, let's face it. The phone is gonna start at $399. $399 for a new iPhone in 2020. It sounds insane to even say it. To give context, the next cheapest iPhone that's available to buy right now is the older iPhone XR, and it's $200 more expensive despite coming out in 2018. And the reason why this price is so important is that it officially makes Apple a major player in the budget smartphone market. A space that honestly Apple has ignored since debuting the original iPhone. That means that the millions of people who have been wanting a new iPhone but couldn't get one because of its exorbitant price tag now officially can. And because Apple has never really targeted this segment of the smartphone market before, the new iPhone SE has the potential to dramatically increase the number of iPhone users, and it essentially breaks the monopoly that Android has had in this space for many, many years. Now you might be saying, yeah, Jason, the $399 price tag is all good, but how do you even know this phone is gonna sell? Well, that brings me to point number two. The new iPhone SE 2, much like the original, is powered by the same DNA that's in the flagship iPhones, but in a more compact body. If it makes it easier, just think of the new SE as an iPhone 11 crammed into an iPhone 8 body because that's essentially what it is. So unlike most budget phones, you're not forced to make a lot of trade-offs in order to get that $399 price. In fact, it's pretty ridiculous what Apple is offering here. The phone comes equipped with Apple's A13 Bionic chip, widely considered to be the fastest chip in any phone right now. You get the newest version of iOS with comfortably four to five years of software updates. And because Apple is using a lot of familiar components here, I can almost guarantee you that this phone is gonna be very well performing and very reliable. Now the ace of Apple's sleeve here on this phone is the camera. One of the reasons why the new iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro are so popular is because they're widely considered to have the best camera on any phone right now. And believe it or not, the new iPhone SE 2 is going to have the same quality camera. You get the tried and true 12 megapixel sensor that Apple's been using on its flagships for a while now. You get the same class leading optical image stabilization. And more importantly, with the power of the A13 Bionic, you get the incredible leap in image processing that Apple implemented last year. We're talking next generation HDR, portrait lighting, single lens portrait mode photos, and hands down the best 4K video recording on any phone period all in this much cheaper $399 package. This in and of itself is pretty insane because having a quality camera like this on a phone at this price point is basically unheard of. And it doesn't even end there. You get the glass on glass aluminum design, IP67 waterproofing, wireless charging, true tone on the display, sapphire on the camera lens, basically all the accoutrement that really shouldn't be on a budget phone. 
With so little exceptions, Apple has made it a no-brainer decision for anyone who's on a budget looking for a phone, and frankly, no one else really even comes close. Now, the new iPhone SE 2 officially ships on April 24th, but it's already gotten so many orders that the shipping date's already getting pushed out. I mean, with everything that you're getting here, I don't even think it's an argument to say that this is the best value iPhone ever. But to me, I think this phone could be the best phone in a very important segment of the smartphone consumer market, and I'm excited to see how it sells. But hey, that's just me. And you guys know that I have a soft spot in my heart for Apple products. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that the iPhone SE 2 is going to be the game changer that I think it's gonna be? Or do you think that this is just another example of Apple repackaging something that already exists and potting it off as something new? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. It really helps me out. If you guys have any questions about the new iPhone SE 2, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.